17-year-old David Popovich became a world record holder and a world champion twice. He then melted his favorite gold medal, the 200 freestyle. Just one year later, he stopped winning. In fact, he failed to medal in both of his favorite events, and his world record just got broken this year. On average, elite male swimmers peak at age 23, but did David peak too early? Let's find out. When I heard he melted his medal, I thought it must be something he did just to be funny or to post an Instagram video. I mean, he's just a teenage kid, right? Well, although he thinks of himself being just a normal high school kid outside of the pool, it turns out he is more mature than most adults. He melted the medal because he doesn't care too much about winning, money or fame. He cares more about philosophical principles and making a positive impact on people. And that is exactly why he did this to his medal. In 2022, during the Swimming World Championships in his home country of Romania, he won the 100 and the 200 freestyle, two of the favorite events in the swimming world. He became an instant legend. No one in the world had won those two events in the past 49 years. Everyone thought this kid was going to be the next swimming star, breaking many world records and winning gold medals for many years to come. Expectations were high for him in 2023, but he missed the podium entirely in the 100 and the 200 freestyle. To add salt to injury, his 100 freestyle world record was recently broken by another teenager. So people are saying he already peaked, that he couldn't handle the pressure, that he is more focused on his studies than in swimming. Some are saying that he got too strong and his muscles are too heavy in the water. While making this video, I now understand that he uses swimming to learn more about his own mind. His coach and him are fans of the Stoics, especially Marcus Aurelius. It is not a surprise that he chose to study philosophy as his major in college. As a Stoic, he wants to be more focused on the process rather than the outcome. He says he doesn't really care about winning. Winning is not an objective. Is just a bonus. On his most recent interview with Brett Hawk, he has so many golden nuggets of advice like that. I recommend listening to that interview after you watch this video. He said people think of him as serious because of his incredible composed interviews that he does. But I'll tell you what I really see in him. I see a now 19-year-old full of emotions, funny in spirit, and obsessed with the sport. When he broke Cesar Cielo's world record, his first post read, Are you not entertained? A great reference of the movie Gladiator, but also an incredibly deep thing to say after breaking a world record. He knows competitive sports are a form of entertainment, something fans, coaches, athletes, and the parents of athletes often forget. We get tangled in details, scholarships, rewards, opportunities, dreams of fame, and we forget exactly why we do and why we watch sports. And even though he is young, he has been studying these concepts for a while. He said it's important not to forget sport is supposed to be fun. I know he probably has two goals in the back of his head. Two things that he hasn't accomplished yet that would make him one of the greatest freestyle swimmers of our time. After this, he may retire satisfied. He hasn't won an Olympic gold and he hasn't broken the 200 freestyle world record. And I suspect that he cares more about the record than the medal. After all, he's known for melting them. He cares about this record so much that I think he sacrificed not getting another medal in 2023 for a chance of breaking it. The 200 meters war record is 102 seconds exactly, 142 flat. It was set by Paul Biederman wearing high-tech super suit made essentially of plastic. It helped Paul float better and create less friction with the water. He beat Michael Phelps by a big margin. After this happened, this suit and others similar were made illegal in competitions, but the record remained. Naturally, the records from that year took a lot of time to break again. Only a few remain today. We talked about the 400 on an earlier video and how it is the most hated world record. The 200 world record might take a stoic swimmer who doesn't care about winning to be able to break it. Someone who is detached enough and young enough to try to swim in a non-conventional way just to give it a shot. 
he approaches his races more like a thought experiment than a passionate athlete who wants to win. He has been less than a second of breaking the world record. Still far away in swimming terms. So in 2023, he went for it. On the first lap, he was ahead of the record. By the second lap, the record passed him. He was still on pace to break his own personal record. By the third lap, the record was far away, but he was still ahead of everyone. But disaster struck on the last lap. Because he put all of his effort on the first two laps, his body couldn't handle it anymore. And he tried to hold on, but the damage was done. Three people passed him. He got fourth. His body wasn't ready, but it seems like his mind was. At least, he tried it without the fear of pain, embarrassment, or missing the podium. If Popovich was any other person, I would have thought that fame, money, glory, and the last years of defeat would have ended his career. But he explicitly says he doesn't care about any of that stuff and is actively training his mind to stay grounded. Him melting his metal was a testament of that mental training. A self-imposed challenge that also had a nice reward afterwards. The result, he said, is more important than anything he could do in the pool. The medal is being cut into more than 100 gold bows, a symbol of the fight against childhood cancer. Hope is immune to cancer, Popovich shared in an Instagram post. In an interview, he said that the kids with the cancer he talked to were pretty nervous about meeting him. But I was way more nervous, he said. I'm just a guy who swims fast, but they are way more powerful than me. The 200 meter event in swimming holds significant importance for several reasons. It's a perfect combination of speed and endurance tactical complexity, and it's a showcase of athletic ability. It also has historical prestige. Many legendary swimmers have made their mark in the 200 freestyle, adding to its prestige. Considering that David Popovich is the only one who has been 142 something this decade, he remains the favorite to win this year. Did David peak too early? Is he mentally strong enough to come back after a disappointing year? Consider this quote from him. The muscles play their part but the brain is the biggest instrument in a very good athlete. I hope he wins this year, but if he doesn't, I'll be entertained. We can see many styles of freestyle in this event. Some are more relaxed, some have faster tempos, all of them have a strong kick, but none of them have ignored the five pillars of swimming. I made a full video about the five pillars of swimming that you can watch for free right here on YouTube. See you there, swim fast. I'm going to make a video about every swimming event at the Olympics this year. The goal is that through these videos we can enjoy every swimming event even more and hopefully learn to swim better in the process.